the questions to keep myself aligned. Waste away the hours doing what I should. Knowing that my soul tells me it's not for my own good. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about mind power. So mind power. You know, meditation. I want to talk about meditation for a second. And you can meditate in lots and lots of different ways. So you don't have to just sit there like with your legs crossed, sitting in absolute silence like a like the buddhas on the himalayas like that's not going to work for everyone especially in our fast-paced multitasking world it's really hard to disconnect but to find that place of silence to find that place of silence and there's comfort in detaching from everything including your body just really just detaching and finding that place of inner quiet right where there's no boundaries, no substance, no time, no space, right? It's this place where you can just be, which is a really great place to be. And this place is always guiding you and directing you. And you can use it in any way to help you get to your desires. But we have to be careful about what we're desiring and the things that we're asking about, of asking for. But we have this amazing ability to get it, right? And it's that, that inner quiet. It's this place of, it's like your corner of freedom, okay? It's like this corner of freedom. And it can't be invaded by anyone or anything, Right, so that's really what's amazing about sort of finding that space, that inner space. And understanding that there is nothing outside of you that you can blame. There's nothing outside of you that you can blame for the craving, for any cravings that you have or unhealthy addictions. Right? There's no there's no nothing that you can There's no one, nothing else that you can blame for that. So for those cravings and unhealthy addictions. In your mind, you make choices. And you can choose to go with those cravings and unhealthy addictions. Or you can choose, you can choose to go to, to understand. That's better a word. To understand the power of your mind. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Joy Ann. Your mind, your mind can give you a lifetime of peace and tranquility. It can. It can give you anything that you ask for. We just have to understand the power of our mind and, and that it will give you whatever you ask for. So by changing your mind, you can start to really live your life to your best potential. By changing your mind, by changing the way that you look at things, the things that you look at will change, right? By changing the way that you look at things, the things that you look at will change. So creating a life of giving rather than a life of lacking. You know, if you want things in your life, good morning, Kathy. If you want things in your life, if you want to make your life better and you know what those things are, you know, instead of talking about it, that you're, what you're lacking, you need to talk about the things that you want as if you have it, right? So we know about law of attraction. But also looking at it as, you know, what can you give when you get what you want? What will you give in exchange when you get what you want? Right? I offer healing to people. Right? That's what I give. So what will you give to get what you want? I offer transformation. 
you know, so people say, I want this. I want lots of money. I want a big house. I want a big car, a fancy car. I want, I want, I want. But what are you willing to give for that? What are you willing to do for humanity? What is, what are you going to do in exchange? Okay. So your kingdom is how you use your mind in the face of any and all circumstances. So if you think about your mind as your kingdom, you are the ruler of your kingdom. Okay. So you are the ruler of your kingdom. So if your kingdom is how you use your mind in the face, your kingdom, sorry, your kingdom is how you use your mind. This is a quote. Your kingdom is how you use your mind in the face of any and all circumstances. Right. Good morning, everyone who's joining in. So if you can use your kingdom and you're the ruler of your kingdom, then what are you doing in your kingdom? Are you one of those rulers who just takes, takes, takes? Are you one of those? Are you one of those rulers who is greedy, 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 just wants, wants, wants? Or are you a giving and kind ruler? where there's an exchange, right? You get this, you give that. Okay, so there's this exchange. So you need to decide what kind of a ruler of your kingdom are you going to be? Right? Think about the things that you ask for. Think about the things that you desire in your life and have you offered anything? You know, I want that big dream house. I want to make that money. I want to blah, blah, blah. And it's great. I am not judging what you want. You should have the things that you want in this life. That is that is your prerogative. This, this universe is full of abundance. We can have whatever we want. But what are you willing to give? Okay. And stop the need to prove yourself. We have this, uh, this innate, I don't know, gene or something. I don't know what it is, but we have this need to like prove ourselves to people. Just be, just be yourself. Don't prove yourself. Just be yourself. Okay. Just be you. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about anything. When we worry about what other people think that takes away from us, from our own potential of what we can do, because we want to live our lives according to someone else's approval why? What shape are they in? Do they need healing? Are they in such a great place? You know, are they like, you know, empowered and enlightened and so much so that you want their approval? Right? Who are you trying to prove yourself to? So the only person that you need to impress is yourself. That's it. That's who you need to impress. You want to prove yourself to someone and what you can do, then do it for yourself. Right? Just be. Just be you. Your mind is also, this is the very important thing because when I'm working with my clients, I need to always tell them this and express this to them over and over again because people forget this. Your mind, your mind is also in charge of your health. Your mind is in charge of your health. Okay, that's what's also happening in that kingdom, that inner kingdom. You are creating your health as well. So changing your mind about healing, right? Changing your mind about healing. You know, are you continually talking about how you're suffering and struggling and challenging and being challenged? Or are you ready to take control of your healing? and do what it has to be done and do what needs to be done. Get help, do what you have to do to get into a better place, to improve, renovate, to just renovate your kingdom, right? It's time to do that inner renovation, renovating that inner landscape, right? So my challenge to you today is practice mind control. Practice mind control to eliminate self-destructive behaviors. Controlling your mind. Your mind does not control you. You control your mind. We have been brainwashed and we do things ass backwards. We love backwards. We think backwards. 
we we do it all backwards we pray backwards we do it all ass backwards okay so understand that you rule your kingdom your kingdom doesn't rule you right so take control and be a good queen or king of your kingdom and be giving and be kind so that you can have or you will have what you want and when you get what you want it will have meaning right so you get that fast car yay okay great if it doesn't have any meaning for you other than just being this object that you got okay so make the things that you ask for the abundance that you want in your life have meaning by giving by being giving and kind and loving and compassionate to other people okay and eliminate the self-destructive behavior think about the things that you're thinking Oh, that sounds weird, right? Observe the things that you're thinking. What are you saying to yourself? Okay, what are you saying to yourself? And are these things kind? Are they loving to you? Or are they destructive? Self-sabotaging, right? You need to observe. Stop living your life like you're on a runaway train, Right? You're just on this, ah, I have no control over what's happening. Look at me. I'm just, I'm derailing. Like, of course you have control. You have all the control. Who else would have the control? You are sitting at the controls. So you can choose to have it just sit there on autopilot and do nothing about it. That's your choice. I mean, we have everything we do is a choice. But understand that doing nothing is also a choice. Letting things happen is also a choice. But by not making a choice, you are making a choice. And there will be a consequence and an outcome. Okay, so are you just sitting on autopilot? Eh, I'll get where I get. Or are you driving the train? Like, what are you doing? Right? So it's about understanding what you're doing. All right, are you running the kingdom? Or are you letting the kingdom run you? Oh, I'll just let anything that happens, happens, and we'll just see where the ships fall. You know, there's that song, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you're on autopilot, whatever will be, will be. That is such, like, it's a great song. You know, it's a classic, but... The things that will be, well, what you, what you create, that's what will be, okay? So, you know, whatever will be, will be is like living on autopilot. That's just like saying, you know what, I'm not responsible for my life and whatever happens, happens. Okay? What? No, you are fully responsible for your life. Okay, you are full on, need to be in control of your life. So that's something that I want you to practice this mind control. Practice eliminating self-destructive behaviors. Observe what you're thinking, what you're doing. Are you in control of your life? Okay? If you have trouble doing this, all right, that's when you need to contact me or someone like me so I can help you, okay? Because, you know, we can't always do this alone. Spend time being bewildered and in awe of your mind and, and the power of it. Like, just like amazed at how powerful it is. You know, we ask for magic in our lives all the time, but we don't really understand that we are creating magic all the time, right? We are creating magic all the time. So be bewildered and in awe of that, of yourself, of who you are, okay? Um, understand that no one outside you can make you happy or unhappy without your consent. Okay? No one can make you unhappy or happy without your consent. Okay? So if someone is treating you badly, you allow it. Okay? Take ownership of that. Own it. 
No one can wipe their feet on you unless you lay down like a mat and let them. Okay? So if you are unhappy in your life, you've given consent to that. You have control. You have given consent to your unhappiness. You have given permission for that person to act badly towards you. Okay? And that's a lot of power to give someone else, by the way. Okay? Someone else should not control your happiness or your unhappiness, or you should not give that control to somebody else. That is a hell of a lot of power to give to someone else. Okay? So just paying attention to that. And just remember, like I've said, you are the ruler of your kingdom. Your kingdom, your mind, you are the ruler of your kingdom. So you, like I said, you need to decide what kind of a ruler are you going to be? And what kind of boundaries are you going to put up? What consent will you no longer give? Okay? So it's very important to understand that you can't blame anyone outside of you for anything. You need to understand that, okay? And you, if someone is doing bad things to you or treating you badly or hurting your feelings or is just rude to you or whatever, demeaning, they're patronizing, condescending, whatever it is that they're doing to you, you have given them consent to do so. You know, it can happen the first time. You didn't know it was going to happen. Things can happen the first time. But if they happen a second and third time, you need to own that. You need to own that. Okay? So be a good ruler. Be a great ruler. Have the best kingdom ever. So just think about that. And that is my, um, that's my talk today about mind power and the power that you have. So I'd like you to just maybe take today and consider that and just observe your life. Observe what's going on in your life. Observe what's going on in your mind. Observe your thoughts. Find that place of quiet inside, even if it's just going for a walk and just be. Take control of what's happening in there. Be the best king or queen ever. Okay? You are the best ruler of you. All right? So have a great day. Thank you so much for listening this morning. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Look at my reflection. In the mirror I see. That it's not the person who lives inside of me. Done with all the fear and doubts. The negativity. I'm shedding all the crap right now. I'm